Uh, hello, guys. Um, welcome back after Christmas holidays. Hope you had a great time and great starting to the new year. Today, we gathered with Atlatec team once again on this uh, call to discuss what happened in January. Um, January uh, has been also quite an eventful month, and we picked several topics that we find interesting. For example, um, GM decided to update their logo that hasn't happened in the more than 50 years. And recently they released a new logo design, which is supposed to resemble the company's focus on uh, electric mobility, which is quite interesting, Tom, don't you think? <laughs> I, I do actually, yes. I mean, um, we've seen a lot of news uh, about uh, electric mobility becoming on vogue and then from on vogue becoming almost mainstream in the in the last years right and uh, 2020 was also the year where gm uh, pledged a 27 billion dollar investment into electric mobility but uh, i think this is very interesting because this is a case of really uh, um, yeah of really following through on an, on, a, on an entire brand level, right? We, we have Volkswagen that are going electric. Uh, other brands are coming with electric vehicles. GM is now, the entire brand logo is now reflecting electronic connectivity. And I think that is a massive commitment. And this is like, this is old school Detroit, right? Uh, so you're thinking muscle cars, you're thinking huge chrome uh, road cruises and everything. So this is definitely news. And I think this will, convince a lot more skeptics that electric mobility is becoming mainstream. Yeah, and they really mean this, right? I mean, twen right. what did you say, 27 billion or something? I mean, that's a yes. huge number by any standards, right? Uh, be it automotive or other. And even, I, I checked the website yesterday, right? And it, I, they have this uh, this slogan, right? Uh, Every, everybody in or something like this, right? And the yeah. EV of everybody, that's in a different color. So it sticks out as EV, right? And it's right, right on the front page, right? So it's really, it's a fresh new design, like the entire website. And it really, I mean, they leave zero doubt that, that they are totally committed to, to EVs. I mean, there's really not a, not a doubt left that they really mean this. I, I like the new branding, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, me too, absolutely. And I really hope that electric people will become a normal thing and not just uh, something for hipsters or something. And uh, there is another news on electric vehicle also. It's a um, company Rivian from Bay Area. They are committed to producing electric trucks, uh, which they plan to supply to Amazon, by the way. And in Corona times, when all businesses have been suffering, Rivian managed to collect 2.6 billion in investment, which is also quite interesting and kind of implies that uh, the future of uh, EV is just around the corner and that it will be an absolutely normal thing, not only for um, for end consumers who drive uh, small cars, but also for electrical trucks. Can you, right. what do you think? Is the electrical truck coming anytime soon? Yeah, I mean, there are um, several companies uh, starting uh, to become the next uh, Tesla killer. I think this is uh, something that they, many of these companies claim. Some have been very successful. Uh, some are picking up pace and Rivian is clearly among these and some have slowed down a little bit, right? But but these are huge numbers. Once again, I mean, this is a huge number as uh, the investment they have received. Uh, their valuation is also very high up in the 20 something billions which coincidentally is roughly the ballpark uh, that uh, GM is, is intending to invest in the space as well. So yeah, it goes great for Rivian, uh, it's a cool company. Uh, I like their design a lot. So really keeping fingers crossed, they can start to ship and build their vehicles soon. I mean, in the end, it's pretty difficult still to get the entire supply chain and, and manufacturing up and running. Yeah, yeah, right. But still, I think it's it's very cool that we have both the, the, the old school car makers who know production, who know supply chain and everything like GM going electric. And then also we have these new, fresh uh, lifestyle brand like companies like Vivian. Of course, you can't judge them before they haven't produced and delivered their first vehicle, right? But there's obviously a lot of people that think that they're doing their job right. And it's 2021 in the middle of a global pandemic, pulling in $2.6 billion at this time. 
I'm pretty sure uh, you don't do that without having something to seriously back your claims. So I'm personally looking forward to it. They have very cool designs coming out and uh, yeah, fingers crossed for them. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how this develops for Rivian. And of course, as HD Maps producer, we couldn't miss out on news uh, when it comes to HD Maps. Uh, as you know, the OEMs have been uh, arguing for quite some time whether HD Maps are necessary when it comes to producing reliable and safe EDIS system. But in the end of the day, everyone apart from Tesla agreed that HD Maps are necessary. And the recent news that came out was from Mobile Eyes and company based in Jerusalem. And they announced that they're bringing their autonomous vehicle uh, test fleets to at least four major cities uh, in the US in 2021, which will be quite a step forward for HDMF's production. Henning, uh, how do you think it will affect the uh, OEMs and the production of uh, autonomous vehicle? Yeah, Mobile Eye is a, is a cool company, right? So uh, in particular, I mean, there are I don't know if this is the correct word, but they are a little bit stubborn, right? They kind of, div, you know, took a different approach to some of the things which used to be the de facto standard in the automotive industry and kind of worked against all criticism. And now they're very, very successful in what they do, right? And, and it pays off. And we can just acknowledge that they are doing a very good job. Um, they have several, you know, technology components that they are now putting together and demonstrating their self-driving capabilities. And for us, of course, we keep a, keep a close eye on, on their um, mapping, crowdsourcing uh, technology. Uh, there were also news at the CES. There were presentations about these things. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. I can just say it. They, they are doing a pretty good job. Yeah, ex exactly. And especially this, this crowdsourcing part, right? I mean, that's where, I mean, this is the reason why Mobileye as a supplier is so successful is because that's where companies want to go, right? Every car maker eventually wants to be able not necessarily to build their very first map by using production vehicle data, but to maintain them, right? That's where the big challenge is to keep these maps accurate. And if you have a fleet of a couple hundred thousand or even a couple of million vehicles out there that are just gathering incredible amounts of data every day, if you actually manage to, to leverage that towards this effect, then that's, of course, that's amazing, right? Uh, so yeah. very nice to see yeah. that they are expanding yeah. their efforts in this in this domain. Yeah, and, and I mean, you know, they, they built these maps with imagery alone and GPS, of course, and a bit of motion sensors. And right. it's not too long ago that, I mean, we have been faced with some skeptics whether and if 3D maps can be built with imagery, just like we do too. But now, and I think uh, Mobile A really uh, contributed to this as well, is the question doesn't come up so, so much anymore, right? So I think this, this is kind of understood that this is indeed possible uh, nowadays and without wanting to talk too much about us here, but uh, also this uh, centimeter accuracy, I mean, single centimeter accuracy uh, requirements for certain functions and systems has also for the most part gone away, right? So. Uh, it's it's understood that 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 is not always needed. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Mobileye has uh, has brought a lot of uh, let's say maturity to the discussion about HD maps, how to use them, how to build them, etc. So that's that's definitely very refreshing, yeah. and I think and, uh, good news for everyone uh, who's working on building maps. Yeah, and it keeps keeps us motivated as well. So that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Fingers sure. crossed that that IAA this year can actually take place in Munich, so we might even be able to spot one of their vehicles ourselves. Yeah, that would yeah. be cool. That would be great, definitely. I guess that's it for today, guys. We will uh, keep an eye on the uh, hottest news of the next month, and we'll keep you posted. And see you in exactly one month. Have a great day. Have a great Bye. day. Thanks, and goodbye.